Hey, how's it going? Uh, I want to do a little follow-up video on uh, how we run our little mosquito setup here. So this is our uh, tank. Uh, it's a CO2 tank. Um, I think this is actually, gosh, I think it's maybe a 20-pound or 10-pound tank. Not exactly sure how big it is. Um, it's not very big. It's like a scuba tank. And uh, you know, we've been using it for a while. Um, we One of the big things that I recommend doing if you're gonna do this, uh, buy one of these valve timer systems. Um, that way you don't have to run the tank all the time because uh, then you'd have to go get CO2 a lot. And the mosquitoes are mostly just active um, around sunset where we live. Um, so we just tend to run it for a couple hours in the evening around sunset. Um, so the tank, obviously you got the tank there filled with CO2. Um, they're not cheap. Um, and tanks are only good for like five or ten years. I can't remember um, So there's like all the paperwork for the tank. Otherwise, they won't refill it and then uh, it comes with uh, This whole upper section, but it does not come with this regulator so this is the regulator I bought from Biogens and uh, It's super easy. Um, it tells you the kilograms per day um, So you want the kilograms per day to be half a kilogram per day, which is the correct amount of um, CO2 to be dispensing and so that's what we've got uh, this valve regulator uh, adjusts it you have to have the tank um, it, it, the gas has to be flowing to be able to adjust it cor correctly if you have the timer shut then it can't measure what's passing through the regulator because nothing's passing through uh, then there's a short little CO2 line here I think this is just quarter inch RODI I bought it from them. I think I would just buy a quarter inch RODI in the future if I needed more. And then um, there's my uh, there's my little um, you know on off valve uh, for the tank. And then I think if I hold it down, yeah, there you go. So that's the current time. That's when it, you can run two cycles on this. So if you wanted to run a morning cycle or an evening cycle, you could. We're just running the evening cycle right now. Uh, if mosquitoes start to get worse, we might do a morning cycle to try to kill a few more. Uh, but there it is starting at 8 p.m., finishing at 9.30. And then the second cycle we're not using, that's S2. And if you just leave the times the same, the cycle never happens. Uh, it runs on a little 9-volt battery, and then it runs up to the, uh, runs up the wall there out to the tank. Only other thing we have up here is right here is my uh, BioGents. Uh, power supply um, uh, You can get a really long extension for that and uh, it's low voltage, so it's pretty easy So there's the power supply runs to the proprietary little um, Connector and then that runs out to a 50-foot line that runs out to where our Mosquito trap is so anyhow, that's what we have um, this part's not cheap. Uh, I think the tank I'm thinking it was $120, $130, something like that. Um, but like I said, I've used it for multiple, this is my second season, um, and uh, so it lasts a long time. I think the biggest problem is just the cost of the tank itself. I think the tanks are almost $100. The gas is not that expensive, but the tank is pretty expensive. Um, and then I think it was 50 bucks for that little timer. Uh, and then another 50 bucks for the regulator, but I bought it as a kit. It included all of it. Um, that that could add up. Um, the CO2 won't be that expensive. I, I can't remember what it was, but I, I'm thinking it's like 30 bucks for a year of it um, or even less. So uh, I'll post a video once we let that run for a little while and uh, see how many mosquitoes we catch and what kinds too. So hope that helps. 